Hey, hey, mailbag 12-ish. Uh, already opened this one. See, it's uh, so far it's just this. This might be a two-dayer. Um, so when more stuff comes in, I'll shoot more of the mailbag. But I opened this one because I was extremely curious. Since it came to one of my other addresses, it is two. I think those are called D shaft motors or D shafts on it. The part number is a GA twelve dash N twenty three volt fifteen RPM. Uh, these will be used in projects that involve all of this stuff. And this one now currently holds the record of taking 60 days to get here. <laughs> uh, that's why I kind of wanted to see what was inside that package. Now this one, which was ordered much later, took a total of 15 days to get here. That's it. And point that away from me. Okay, good. All bent, all bent up, but I can straighten them. These are, they better be, MS GEQ7. Um, these are graphic equalizers. I saw them on another. Eh, you're not going to be able to see that on another channel, and uh, that person used them for making uh, Christmas lights so they could sync it to uh, their music. So that'll be a next year project. I won't have time to get it done this year. And then here are some ICL seven six six zero. They're plus 5 volt to plus and minus 5 volt output. Very low ampage though. Uh, I just want to see how well these work and uh, see how much noise they create uh, in the output. And this is a 4 phase stepper, 5 volt uh, with a driver board. I think I actually already have some driver boards, but I figured I'd get the anyhow's. Uh, that's again with, for projects involving all those gears. And this here is a ISD1820 recording module. It's to replace the one that I used in my Halloween uh, toy. Which worked real good. So... And this is why I need to open these. You'll figure that out pretty quick. Because right now it's in November. Ah! Packaged air. Nothing like getting packaged air. A box within a box. This came from Amazon, so I know exactly what it is, and it came very quick. There we go. Now, let me just grab one moment, please. Okay. Festive season lights, or Christmas lights. Let's plug it in here. Lots of blinkies. Let me just turn off the overhead. And that promptly swamped it out. So, here's that pattern. That pattern. Another pattern. Uh, these are rated indoor-outdoor. 
I'm not betting on the outdoor. Um, they're called String Fairy Light. Apparently there's 66 feet of this, 200 LEDs, and eight different modes uh, for controlling it. Uh, it was 17 bucks and 99 cents, and that included shipping because I got another box of other stuff. And the reason I'm going to the USB ones is simply safety. Uh, I live in a very wet environment. Release. I guess that's what it meant to do. Pull it. I uh, guess I should plug them in. Okay, let's see. Mode 1, Mode 2, Mode 3, 4, 5, that's annoying, 6, 7, oh, that's very annoying, 8. Oh, and they're adjustable up and down. So let's see if that swamps it out now. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's that one. Next. And these are Christmas lights too. I missed the scene. See what we have here. Three boxes and no air packages. Hmm. Well, I assume there's air in those things. Uh, maybe that's a bad assumption. Okay. One moment, please. Okay. So I bought two of these. They were. A grand total of ten dollars and ninety nine cents a piece. Same idea. Toss that over there. Ditto. Uh, let's see how these ones come out. That way, oh, they turn on instantly at least. Hey, aha, it's probably best to open this thing up, ripcord, okay, let's see how this one lights up, point in the right direction, on, and they have, holy cow, look at all these, red, Here's some of them don't change color. Oh, that one does green, blue, bluish, whatever blue. Ditto, ditto, ditto. Oh, there's lots of selection on this. White. Obviously, some of the LEDs don't change. I'm not sure if that comes out too well. But a couple of them are the wrong color. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, let's try something in red. And then they have fade. Oh, okay. A whole bunch of different patterns. And not bad considering these were, um, yeah, $10.99 a piece. I'm going to have to double check. If I made a mistake on the numbers, I'll put it up there and it's got uh, where you can sync it to music I believe there's a delay in here there's irritating fast mellow slow 
Yeah, those are pretty cute. Let me just spread these out a bit. If that helps seeing them. Okay, I'm just going to pause and get them out of the way. And if I do, when or when I set those up, I'll just do it as a short video. So, here's the next one. Uh, this one was $18.99. And same idea, I've got lots of controllers now. But this one is set up for doing as a curtain. So it's uh, 9.8 feet by 9.8 feet. And you just dangle them down. At the window. Okay. And once again. Ripcord. Oh, that's not too bad. It's the multicolor. I'm just going to see if this improves anybody just stocking up. And they are multiple colors in there. I don't believe this is showing up too well on the camera. But again, uh, different patterns. One, two, I didn't see any difference. Three, oh, okay, colors. A slow mode. Blinky fast. Slow mode. Okay, I had to chop a piece out of there. Uh, I think if anybody was an epileptic, they would have hit the ground really fast on that one. And that was irritating even to my eyes. So I'm going to just dim these down. That's a bit better. Let's try one of those modes. Yeah, not too bad. Not bad for the price. So, when the next package comes in, I'll line it up on the bench. And the last item for this mailbag. They claim it is cable sleeves, which is short form for heat sink. Now, don't want to cut it. At least not yet. Two. That was close. Okay, quit hitting the camera. I stocked up. This is all, well, there's one extra item, but heat shrink. Oops. More. That's it. I'll actually just include in the list uh, what I bought. But it's essentially, it's uh, I went for, for a splurge. I bought uh, three to ones, and one of these is supposed to have glue in it. Uh, clears, blacks. Um, oh, that's probably ten meters worth there. Ten meters worth there. And I'll have to sort through to see if everything's there. But uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 different types of heat shrink. I will not be running out. It will be going into my heat shrink bag. That i got to organize a bit better. I also picked up... Uh, for woodworking. There. You've probably seen these before. It's a drill bit. And that way I can get a precise size. Uh, it's more for uh, just, well, it's for woodworking. That's what I use it for. So... As I said, I'll include this in the description. Uh, 
And that's about it for now. Uh, I'll be getting back to my normal game. I finally got the plumbing rehooked up in the house. I've now got city water coming through the underground pipe to the house.